Hello, Internet. Mike Bordellini here playing Vampire the Masquerade, Coteries of New York. All right. The last time I had to cut the game short because my ability to read seemed to really suffer. All right, so I'm going to jump right on in. Um, if you like this game and this kind of content, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll share the video on all social media platforms that you can. All right, let's get this going. The room is certainly unique. It looks like a butcher's room, a purpose to be a living space. A modern computer in front of you starkly contrasts the ominous industrial walls. At the back, there's an overwrought bed covered in velvet with meat hooks hanging above it. Top of the bed sheets, you notice what seems to be pieces of elaborate S&M equipment and a camera. Wait a minute. You want my help? Moderate my cam show. Cam show? Your eyebrows twitch involuntarily. This is definitely not the kind of request you expected to hear tonight. She notices your confusion. Take it or leave it, buddy. You do became a kindred, but you want to become my partner in crime? Show me you can handle yourself while watching my back in my everyday environment. She's serious. The show starts in ten minutes. If you think yourself better than this, better walk out the door right now. I won't hold the grudge. I've got better things to do. As if to prove it, she looks at something displayed on her phone and cracks a brief grin. Another reply typed down with absurd speed. Tap, 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 tap. Nine minutes. It's now or never. Show moderator. Let's go violating the masquerade. Hi. Content warnings? Oh, yes. So, do you take the job? Let's see. Ah, what would you two say about this decision I have to make right now? Um, if this turns out to be very graphic, I will definitely be editing this section. Otherwise... See what this has to. If I have to. Hope rolls your eyes further back than you thought was possible. If I have to? Not exactly an inspiring person, are you? She begins to sigh but stifles it quickly and reflexes. Sorry, I get it. You might have gotten a bad first impression of me or whatever, but I promise this will prove surprisingly educational. All right, give me a second. She spends a minute set, setting up the computer you used before, then urges you to sit down. The explanation of the moderator's functions is simple. It boils down to ignoring anyone who doesn't disrupt the chat, betting anyone who does, and kicking anyone who's causing minor trouble. Five minutes later, she's already online, sitting on her bed in a provocative post. It is a sex show, isn't it? Her voice, previously hushed, rings out with full force. How are you doing tonight, hopefuls? You peek at the chat. We are not worthy, queen. Fucking A. Angel. T.O.T. Hell yeah, time to fuck. Hmm. And kick. Get a grip, sexy bozo. Thank you. Today's show is quite special. Please welcome our new moderator, M. Who is already kicked one of our regulars for no discernible reason. Bear with him, guys. He's new to this. <laughs> oh, who? What the fuck just happened? Oh, sorry for sentencing you to death earlier. Is he going to look for red me on the grave? Get a grip, M. Get a grip, M. Not the best start. At least the community here seems to be a bit more relcoming this time. Looks like this place has an established hazing ritual. Or maybe they and Hope came up with one specifically for you. Who knows? You decide to stay silent. Eventually, people stop riffing on you and focus entirely on the star of the show. All right, let's start this one with a bang, shall we? Hmm, it begins. Queen, oh boy, she's got to do it. So this is where the strip show starts. You raise your head, curious about what kind of performance she's going for. First, she opens her mouth and reveals the retractable fangs in front of the camera. 
right off the bat, the island audience is treated to a sight of a holy human set of teeth turning into a monster's maw. The image is both revolting and fascinating. She raises her left wrist for everyone to see, and then bites. The fangs immediately turn her arm into a horrifying, gory mess. It's unclear if she'd use them to slash or bite, but one thing is for sure, no ordinary human could cause such damage. If an ordinary human suffered such a wound, you'd expect a geyser of blood to appear. But it doesn't. Hope's technically a corpse, so it's impossible. She flashes a monstrous smile and starts smearing Vitae all over her hand to maximize the impact of the violent image. Then, she starts drinking it up. She makes it a point to make the slight as a... She makes it a point to make the sight as gruesome as possible, looking like a hyena feasting on a corpse. The contrast of her behavior with her look of an Instagram model is stunning. When she's done, she reveals her wrist to the camera for the last time. She starts making theatrical gestures with her right hand as the wound begins to mend. Shortly after the wound is gone, it's like a magician's trick. Her left hand looks like nothing bad ever happened to it. Here's an appetizer. First blood to kick off the show. While you're wondering what's going on, Hope catches a glimpse of your bewildered face and turns into your direction. How is that for an opening? This isn't a sex show? Sex? What, were you counting on me getting naked in front of you or something? Oh, honey, we just met each other. If you expected a strip show, yeah, sorry to disappoint. This is more like uh, live stream digital art. The erotic, sub the erotic subtext is there, of course. You peek at the chat, they're going wild. She did that for free, huh? I love to lick your wrist clean, my fawn angel. Ha ha, yes. Nothing more arousing than a beautiful woman teetering the edge of oblivion, a rose petal dancing in the eye of a violent hurricane. But eroticism is not the key here. It's vampirism. It's in the frontier, a living art installation. In the early 90s, the Japanese artist kept producing these videotapes with beautiful women committing gory harakiri. Those are an inspiration. She buries her things again in a devilish grin. But I have no interest in auto-destruction or turning myself into a victim. This is a celebration of a body I love, not self-inflicted punishment. The audience came here to marvel at a beautiful vampire and her awe-inspiring powers. Mending wounds is just one of these powers. The people watching can pay to see more. Oh, and don't worry. The only thing the audience can see and hear are the things I allow them to. You can talk freely. Just remember to moderate the chat, will you? Hyrus of Wiley in the masquerade. What a joke. She's blatantly breaching in front of anonymous viewers. So speechless, you turn your attention to the screen. My guapa. All right, I'm feeling generous today. Are you playing your next tattoo yet? Oh, okay, a lot of, lot of text in. Looks like a pink marshmallow covered in raspberry sauce. Thirst victim, just letting you know you're based. I know. Oh, that is, oh, that's a... You know what? Um, O-M-G-A-S-F-H-R-J-E-R-L, semicolon, K-R-L-E-J-L-K-Jerk-L-G-M-N-N-N-M-N-N-V-R-O. Wow. Yes, um... Please feel free to pause the video and read these parts yourself because these texts come in fast. Hmm. You give the guy a kick for spamming the chat. A few seconds later, Hope groans loudly. What the hell did you kill Masochus for? It's normal for people to show their excitement like this from time to time. People interpret it as Queen hurting him and be grateful, but stop messing up. Oh well. A special message appears in the chat log claiming somebody has successfully sponsored the first goal of the show. Hope smiles and picks up a bag of blood from underneath the bed. It must have been retrieved from a blood bank. She showcases the label to the camera for everybody to see. Drink up, drink up. Drink up. Drink up. A lot of hearts. Hope pours all the contents of the bag into her throat. You have no doubt it's real blood, but wonder why the viewers would be so satisfied with something that's so easy to fake. 
Don't worry, it pays well enough. Don't even bother to tell her that's not what you're thinking about. Safe to assume she knows. So what do you do about the kindred and the internet? Have they told you anything? While she's waiting for someone to sponsor her next vampiric feast, she decides to start a conversation. Is there a vampire internet? <sighs> Find something that looks like vampire internet. Stay away. See, some of us used to experiment with our own secure networks. We tried to build our own information hubs, social networks, everything. She's still working the phone in one hand while working, looking for something under the bed with the other. Well, how many things can she concentrate at one time exactly? And one day, the NSA got it. Turns out elders never really got the hang of the property security practices or the symbols they used to smear on the screens didn't exactly work as advertised. Then, of course, all the other three-lettered intelligence agencies in the world got the intel, and a lot of them decided bloodsuckers were the perfect new enemies for our post-9-11 times. The Second Inquisition came into being. Ever heard of it? A lot of our kind died just because they were too present online. Right now, the remains of our old network servers of government honeypots kept alive to attract fledglings and hunt them down. You post a certain keyword on Twitter or Facebook, you get tagged for investigation. You fix certain patterns, you get tagged for investigation. So there is a certain thrill in becoming an online presence without attracting attention from the authorities. She stretches on the bed. I hope you're still monitoring the chat. Of course not. You're not as good as dividing your attention as she is. You correct your mistake and check the recent messages. Oh, is she talking to somebody? Came for the real thing to start. It's two minor set of rules. Call of Duty on one screen, dead, drop dead hotness on the second screen. The woman I don't hate. Hope more like my favorite hoe. Despite the nickname, they seem supportive. You leave them alone. You look away from the screen for a second, and when you look back, there are three new messages from the same user. Yo, is it just me, or does your face look kind of retarded? But don't worry, baby, if you're a special needs person, I have a special thing here to satisfy you. It's my dick. Doing a great job back there, Em. The guy gets banned and Hope goes back to running the show. Great job, Em. Great job, Em. Great job, Em. They must have heard her. You've messed up. Anyway... Yeah. When that's where I admitted to the Camarillo, the network got compromised. The elders went batshit insane. Internet communications became strictly forbidden. There were executions. A lot of people who use social media to sec secretly contact their mortal families and lovers got offed. That goes without saying. But if you weren't careful, even the most innocent web usage could result in being punished with final death. Thanks to user Dick Steele, the next goal has just gotten successfully funded. Let's go, vanishing act. Dehumanize yourself and face the bloodshed. She raises her hand, three fingers up, two fingers up, one finger up. The countdown ends and she immediately disappears from the screen like a ghost. You can still see her on the bed, but the life feed indicates there's nobody there. You deeply focus on the digital image, you swear you can make out some unusual glitching where her silhouette should be, but it could very well be just a placebo. You ready for this? Three, two, one. A flash of the camera the instant she reappears on the screen. She takes a selfie, sticking her tongue out in a provocative manner. The chat room explodes and cheers again. She is their vampire queen. You briefly wonder about her being glued to the screen. Is this the fantasy everyone is here for? A girl showing off cheap magic tricks while lazily browsing her social media? You realize you're way out of your depth here. Meanwhile, Hope decides to continue her lecture. Those were some wild times, especially in New York. While most of them have no clue as to our real nature, a lot of clandestine organizations have classified us as national threats. And since it's where the towers fell, the agencies are very much present around here, looking for easy PR victories. The last SI raid here was just a few years ago, and it was a big one. It up the hornet's nest something fierce. But although it's 2019, NYC is ruled by someone who got embraced before World War fucking II, and the cam as a whole got really spooked and swore off the internet. 
Of course, they're not dumb. I understand that you can't really coexist with modern kind without the internet. It's a gray zone right now. Like piracy. Technically frowned upon, but let the one within out sin cast the first stone. Second Inquisition is a real threat, no joke, but in many senses, the darkest place is right under the candle. You take another look at the screen. We want blood. How about some bat stuff? Can you do some bat stuff? Can you show us next time? It's been a long, hard day. Please give me a shout out. A familiar nickname pops up. Is he hitting his keyboard with his head or something? All right, be gone. Well, that was overzealous. Please, please, please don't terrorize my viewers, will you? The chat is ridiculing you again. That wasn't the best choice. Let's hope you can bounce back from that. Fun fact about being a vampire. We can sweat and pee if we just exert ourselves really hard. Some of us can even organize them. We can even cry, but only tears of blood. Something I was I was dreaming of doing when I was fourteen, so romantic, and it drives them crazy. As proof of her word, the Scarlet Tear starts running down her face. The chat goes wild. This seems to be exactly the kind of thing they've been waiting for. Okay. And kicked. Just to be clear, you realize what we're doing here is a blatant breach of the masquerade, right? I just expect you to leave or inform somebody by now, but you haven't, have you? you? Try to focus on the chat. In any case, the last goal has just been funded. It's time for the great finale. This is what you've all been waiting for, right? Well, yes, queens. Her voice has changed. She gets closer to the camera, letting her face fill the frame of the live feed. Her mesmerizing eyes are focused purely on the viewers. You wanted blood? Come out into the streets, claw out your neighbor's throat, slash their veins, and drink up. Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen. Her presence becomes absolutely horrifying, and it influences the chat in some incomprehensible way. Everyone starts typing like they are possessed. Liberate yourself from the shackles of ordinary mortality. Morality. Make them scream. Feel the warmth of their entrails. Yeah. What the hell is she doing to these people? What have you gotten yourself into? Transcend your bodies. Release the message of hope into the world. She drinks violently for a second and falls down in the bed like a marionette that had just had its drink severed. She exhales loudly a few times. And laugh. When she does, the room goes dark again. All right, that's enough. Instead of continuing, she does something with her phone. The stream ends and the chat instantly becomes dead quiet. Let me take over. The atmosphere in the room is completely changed. She's already put herself together and stood up. Now she's walking towards you. At vulgar, what the fuck just happened? Guess the show's over. Everyone relax and go home. Oh, I was almost ready to come, bros. I swear my father's grave one day will find you and kick the ever-living shit out of you. <coughs> her voice, the way she puts her lips together, and even the way she moves. You've caught glimpses of her acting this way, but only now have you started to figure it out. Wait a minute. Does that mean... I'm immortal, I'm bored, I'm separated from most vampires in the city by a generational chasm, and I'm so goddamn lonely. Internet used to be my only friend. I started researching topless clips. There's another mumbo jumbo at the intersection of psychology and spirituality, and I decided to experiment. The show was fake. A few years later, I was an Instagram fashionista, a successful erotic model, a vital part of pop culture and. Com Commentariat, a viral ship poster, a cryptocurrency expert. All my internet sales started signal boosting each other, paving the way for new ones. 
I became a one woman empire surrounded by legions of psycho fans. The chat was fake. Somebody think of me as dissociative identity disorder, but that's bullshit. Everyone knows. Everyone has all the alter egos they buried. I just resurrected them, gave birth to new ones, and let them crossbreed. Her constant tapping on the phone, even during the show, somehow she is capable of impersonating an entire chat room. Literally a perfect angel. I don't even have a self that I could just hear she or mentally hell, I'm a host, a living database. Really because I find it fun to be an informant shouldn't kind of it. To process trends and support the ones I deem worthy. There was no masquerade violation. She was showing off her skills all along. She put you into a world of pure fiction, the same way she was testing you when she attacked you from the back. Damn, she's good at this. Of course, you can just ignore what I'm saying in the sign of just another deranged Malkavian, but hey, annihilation of the self is the only way to survive in the 21st century. If there was an ever an era that demanded images of beautiful people transcending beyond humanity and spring others to do the same, it's this one. Although for now, because of Masquerade, my audience is quite limited. Speaking of, you want to be the star of my next movie? Need some time to mull it over? Sure. No. Sorry to disappoint. But yeah, your test is over. Now the question is, do I want to work with you? She puts away her phone for the first time since you met her and gives you a good, hard look. Sorry, cutie. I don't think it will work out. It's not me. It's you and your vibes. You're kind of dumb and boring. You want to protest, but then you realize how many times you made a fool of yourself in front of her tonight. She looks honestly disappointed. All right, get out. Through the door, go right. Keep heading straight until you reach the stairs. Red door on the left. You should be able to find your way from there. I'll send you our selfie together. Whenever you look at it, remember that. Even if apart, we're still together in a way. So if I get in trouble tonight because something I've shown you here tonight, you won't go down as an accomplice. Capiche? She leads you out and loudly shuts the door behind you. The sound somehow drives the finality of her decision home. Oh well. Right from the labyrinth of gray corridors into a cluttered back alley. Back on the street again, you'll have to survive them without hope. Okay. Some here. You haven't been to a church since you became a vampire, or kindred, as the euphemism goes. You've had to focus on concrete, practical things like survival and feeding. You've learned the essentials of the vampire existence, but you don't really have a clarity of what it all means. The Cathedral of St. John the Divine is a New York landmark. You've been inside once before when you were much younger. You marveled at its Gothic facade. Looking at it now from across the street, it feels ominous. The prospect of an anonymous invitation to a secret meeting is a worrying one, but the venue is well chosen. It's hard to imagine a violent attack in a place like this with eyes everywhere. You went to the cathedral discreetly. You quickly learned this is an essential skill for a vampire, how to move without anyone noticing you. The full force of the cathedral's architecture hits you as you walk between the pews. The architect meant to create the feeling of being small in the face of God's glory. Mission accomplished. Based on the note, you're assuming that whoever you're meeting is somewhere in the front. As you step closer to the high altar, it feels like someone is dragging at your feet, as if the stone beneath you resisted your movement. All right, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, unfortunately, Hope has decided not to join my little coterie, but that's fine. Uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Um, if you had anything to add to what was just done, please let me know. All right. So, enjoy this comment. Like I said, subscribe, like, share on social media. It's all free stuff to do, so go and do it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.